discovery over the weekend near Rampart Range Road. The remains of two bodies are discovered less than 50 feet from a hiking trail just over a mile north of Forest Service Road 315. KKTV 11 News reporter Stephanie Ross joins us now live from the coroner's office. Stephanie, they'll begin trying to identify the bodies tomorrow. That's right, Don and Shannon. This all comes after an abandoned vehicle was found very near that same area. And but no one has been able to find the owner of that car for weeks. So the El Paso County Sheriff's Department has called in a special team to help them solve that mystery. Spetsnaz Canine, whose star sniffer is Czar, spent hours searching for a possible missing person. And Czar was the one that made the terrible discovery. Their job is to go out there and hunt. And they do it very well. So well, in fact, that Czar found two deceased bodies in a matter of hours after the El Paso County Sheriff's Office had looked for weeks. Good boy! Search and rescue team searched the area for a couple of weekends. They were unable to find the person, so we contacted this private contractor who has dogs specializing in cadaver search and recovery. And the volunteer canine unit was glad to be of service. We're pleased to, you know, help Terry Makita out in the Sheriff's Department and we'll be there for him anytime they want to call us on, a, on an incident like this. But with the success of canine search units like Spetsnaz, the hope is that authorities will first look to a dog for help. The chances of recovery are much greater the sooner that we can get in. So that maybe families will have answers just a little earlier. If we can give them that kind of closure, it gives you a little peace of mind. It's maybe not the best answer, but at least it's an answer. And there should be some answers soon as the coroner will be finishing their autopsies tomorrow. Don and Shannon, back to you. Stephanie, thanks very much. And another side note, Spetsnaz uh, K-9 just moved to this area this past year from Kansas. Czar, the Doberman Pinscher, also specializes in drug and bomb detection. Too many Near Rampart Range Road talks exclusively with 11 News. The remains of two bodies were discovered less than 50 feet from a hiking trail just a mile north of a road northeast of Woodland Park. The team we're talking about goes by the name Spetsnaz K-9. They're freelancers of sorts, available for almost any kind of search. In this case, take an abandoned car, no driver to be found. And as KKTV 11 News reporter David Ancaro tells us, at times even authorities need to bring in a specialist. If you have no answer, you'll just spend the rest of your life wondering, what happened to my son or my daughter? Meet Czar. He's the kind of dog to help answer those questions. One workhorse of a Doberman Pinscher with a nose for finding people on loan to local investigators. And their job is to go out there and hunt. And they do it very well. It is thanks to Czar's training and sense of smell that he could do what El Paso County authorities couldn't. That Our search and rescue team has been up there for a couple of weekends uh, searching for the owner of the vehicle that we found up there. On Saturday, it took Czar hours to find the remains of two bodies off a hiking trail near Rampart Range Road in the same general area of an abandoned car registered to a missing person from Colorado Springs. And we decided that we wanted to get another dog and train um, with an opportunity to give back. Trainer Galen Whitman says Czar is an asset for any agency that asks for it. A searcher on par with the best in the nation dedicated to putting worried minds at ease. If we can give them that kind of closure, it gives you a little peace of mind. It's maybe not the best answer, but at least it's an answer. Still, questions remain about whose bodies Czar found, but with his help, as promised, investigators are closer to having some answers. That was David and Kara reporting. Investigators still cannot say if the bodies found are even connected to the abandoned car. They expect to know more once an autopsy is complete, which is scheduled for today.